Toronto Tato, I te tuatahi e mihi tēnei hei tāpiri atu ki ngā mihi whakamihi, ki ngā mihi whakamirimiri kua tukua ki a koutou kua tatu mai ki te upoko teika i tēnei ahiahi, tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou me o tātou mātua, tēnā koutou me o rātou wawata, tēnā koutou me o tātou moimoia, mo e nei taonga, Kei te mato o te whenua. Ahakoa wai Māori, ahakoa wai tai, ngā here here rao rao papa whenua o tā tātou i tēnei rā, he whakapūmau i ngā pānga o tātou tīwi Māori ki ēnei taonga ko whakaritea hei poipoi mā tātou, hei tuku mā tātou ki a tātou tamariki mokopuna a tōna wā. Nā reira tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. I te wā i kōrerotia Ai tēnei pire, i konei anō e tahi kai kōrero whakahahani. Ko tā rātou, he whakatutua i te ingoa rangatira o Ngāti Raukawa, Ngāti Tuwharetoa, a te Arawa. Ko te kai kōrero nō roto i te Act Party. Nāna i ki mō tātou huanga, ko tā rātou e whai nei he Hocus Pocus. Nāna i ki, ko tā tātou, e whai nei, he whakamomona i te tahi wahanga iti nohe o te mare o Aotearoa, ko te nuinga e whakatahangi ana. Nā ku te ki, i roto i era kupu tau kume kume, e nā momo kōrero ka tau ki runga i te upoko o te tangata nāni whakaputa. Tā te mea nāni whakatau reka reka te tahi iwi rangatira ko Waikato. Nā me mōhi o tātou, ko korera wātou i tēnā tangata i roto i a tātou i aine. Me waiho o ko korero ke pēra arawa, hei mutunga ki tō tātou reo Māori. Mr. Speaker, I rise and treat this as a privilege to support the Minister and other speakers. And I remind us, sir, as I've said in Māori, earlier speeches on this topic, insofar as they related to the neighbours, of the current iwi, i.e. Waikato, when we had, sir, the debates about that particular bill, we unfortunately were troubled. And, sir, the thing that troubled us is that the quality of contribution coming from some of our colleagues was designed to humiliate and deride the Māori Treaty partner. And I want it known, sir, that the person and the people who said that what we do today ought not to be done in this House because it belongs in the realm of hocus pocus are no longer members of this House. What we do here, sir, is deadly serious. It pertains not only to the quality of the environment we live in, but it goes to the heart of the mana of the people, that they are genuine participants on the basis of the rights, privileges and obligations that they inherit from their matua and further beyond. So, sir, this is a day where we're showing some courage. We know that there are many outstanding problems in the implementation of a reform such as this. But the future lies, sir, in the younger generation seizing the cudgels and taking these kinds of models forward because the quality of the environment is an obligation that should fall on all of us. It's too easy to seek to demonise those who want to promote Māori heritage, just as it's easy, sir, to stigmatise those who treat the natural resources as primarily being about the generation of wealth. Whether we like it, both perspectives are relevant and important in modern New Zealand society. And this bill, sir, overlooked, endeavours to bring forward an aspect of our lifestyle here in New Zealand that's been overlooked for too long. That the hapu, the local people, they were to be the hewers of wood, carriers of water and have no status in the big allocation or management decisions about something as prodigious as the Waikato River, meaning, in English, the flowing waters. 
some 4,000 odd kilometres, a catchment of thousands and thousands of hectares. An area, sir, that represents a great deal of importance to the super city, given they derive much of their drinking water from the area. Sir, treaty settlement issues deserve bipartisan support. And whilst I have doubts that 2014 will see the end of this episode in our recent history, we shouldn't use dates that we set in our parliamentary calendar as an opportunity either to hammer each other, sir, or as an opportunity to either mislead the public or threaten the Māori Treaty partner. It's going to take as long as we can dedicate the time we can dedicate to it so we get durable solutions. So today we are in a happy mode, but it was only yesterday that a Waitangi Tribunal report came out warning us about the parlous state of the Māori language. Now, whilst this is about resource management and the involvement of tangata whenua and statutory management, the contribution that this system, this reform can make to our language ought not to be overlooked. We affirm the importance of the language when we actually include the guardians of the language in the management of those resources that are identified by their distinctive names and the ancestral connection between the tangata whenua and those areas. But so just as Māori themselves have to take a great deal of responsibility for making this model work, we also have to take an enormous amount of responsibility for ensuring that our language, which is regarded as a tongue of the treaty, is regarded as an issue deserving of the same level of attention as we give it, as we dispatch lawyers to do battle with the Crown, as we go yet to another mandate meeting, and things of that nature. Te reo Māori belongs in the treaty realm, but it belongs, sir, in every home where you find Māori families. It belongs in a position where governments, either local and central government, so that they do not diminish its status. But at the end of the day, it's a broad obligation on all of us as New Zealanders. Because, sir, perish the thought that the language should end up in the way in which the Hawaiians currently struggle to retain or recover that particular Polynesian language. That is a massive reminder to us that although we might nominate dates as to when, sir, treaty settlements might be dispatched, there are certain treaty obligations that are going to be revisited by each generation. And the position of language, the zest we show to maintain it, and the affection that we show and all step up to the plate and cause it to become regarded without cringe a tongue of all New Zealanders. So, so many important speeches have been made. I want to single out the work that the current minister is doing I also appreciate the challenges that he faces in relation to that other iwi, sir, Tuhoi. And um, as I'll say again, it was particularly pleasing to learn that the current minister is looking at various innovations as to how this title question might be dealt with. No doubt he's uh, afflicted by a similar challenge in relation to the seabed and foreshore, but I've exhausted my rhetoric on that matter for this week. So, sir, to our, to our treaty partners, Tuwharetoa, Ngāti Raukawa, Te Arawa, and obviously uh, the people of Waikato. This is a great example of how we can move into other areas of the natural resource estate. And we look forward in the future when fortune smiles upon us and you sit here and we sit there. Looking forward to ensuring that it's adequately uh, served. I mean no disrespect by unwisely involving you as to where you might sit, sir. I actually had the member for Horofenua in mind because Horofenua means to be swallowed by the land and it'll be a landslide that swallows him, sir. But uh, that lies for the future. So without further ado, uh, mihi to all our tangata whenua here today and salute the minister and also acknowledge the work that Dr Cullen did at his time. Kia ora tātou katoa.